Well, yes, as a, as a child, I was always interested in, in, in science. Like, uh, I uh, kept a notebook uh, 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 about natural history, uh, the names of trees and birds and so on and so forth. I was very, very keen, but I was also quite keen on uh, gardening. And that also made me think a lot about plant growth and nutrition, of course, and nutrition of plants, but also nutrition of humans. I was interested in vitamins and so on and so forth. Yes, always had an interest in science and particularly biology. Well, i am got quite a complicated background because I didn't come from um, an, uh, a family that had much money and I left school when I was 16. And, and that uh, meant that I had to look for a job. <laughs> and I didn't go to university uh, like many other people did at, at that stage of my life. I, I, and I became an, uh, an, what is called in English uh, an engineering apprentice uh, with, where I had the opportunity to go to uh, um, the local college in the evening to study and also a, a one day a week. And in that way I, I took, degree, uh, I took uh, qualifications in mechanical and electrical engineering. But all the time I had this interest in, uh, in biology. Uh, how could I become a bio, go work in biology when I was training in engineering? That was a big challenge for me. Uh, and finally, I uh, gained enough qualifications to go to university. And I initially, of course, I enrolled for chemical engineering uh, because it was more chemical. I and mean, chemistry goes is closer to biology. Then, when I was at university, I was lucky enough to be able to switch from chemical engineering. Uh, to chemistry, and that was important because chemistry uh, is, is, is much closer, obviously, to biology than was the engineering uh, studies I was doing. So uh, I graduated in chemistry, and once I graduated in chemistry, that's with my, uh, with my bachelor's degree, I um, uh, had the opportunity for a special uh, fellowship to take a master's degree in biophysics. So this was my way, my way into biology. So I took this degree in, in biophysics, then I took a, a PhD where my project was totally biological uh, and uh, again that PhD was in biophysics. And then after my PhD I went to the University of Leiden in the, ne in the uh, Netherlands uh, where uh, I worked in the biophysics department and it was in the biophysics department at, in, in the Netherlands at the University of Leiden that I was introduced to um, photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis is a subject which is terribly broad uh, in, in terms of it, it, it disciplines. So it ranges from physics, the absorption of light by leaves, right the way through to um, ecology and agriculture and so on. So my interests were in the very first physical or physico-chemical reactions of photosynthesis, that is the interaction of light with the leaf and how that light is absorbed and transformed into, uh, into energy. Uh, you see, now we're talking about me as a postdoc uh, in, in Holland, uh, in the, uh, the Netherlands, uh, which was in 1967. Our understanding of photosynthesis in 1967 was very limited. Although there have been outstanding scientists working in the area, it was still very uh, limited how, uh, of the details of, of, the, of the molecular processes. So it's been uh, quite a long haul, right up until now, 2011, to uh, unravel the molecular processes of photosynthesis, how light is absorbed, how it causes charge separation, how that um, charge separated state and then dry chemistry to split water into oxygen and, and essentially hydrogen, the oxygen goes into the atmosphere and how the hydrogen uh, if, uh, obtained from water is used to convert carbon dioxide into sugars and other organic molecules. This is the process of photosynthesis and this has taken uh, all these years to really unravel it to, uh, to an extent where we're now in a position to replicate it. So we now have the blueprint of photosynthesis and we can use that to develop new technologies. Oh, that's, a, that's without a doubt. It, it's, it's funny, when you're a scientist, 
uh, you do experiments and you get very excited by your experiments, uh, especially if you feel you make a, a, a significant contribution. So if you look through my, my career, uh, then there were, all, there were periods when, or times when I did an experiment and we had new results and they were very significant in their time. And so uh, it, it's a matter of when you ask this question, but of course for me, the most important work that I've done in my career has been to determine the X-ray structure of photosystem 2, which is the enzyme of photosynthesis, which absorbs light energy and splits it uh, in uh, splits water into oxygen and hydrogen. So that is the most important work I've done. Although it's I, looking back over the years, there were many other. Um, many other findings which I considered very important at the time, but of course they all become a part of our knowledge base uh, after, after, after a certain period.